Hi guys! Thanks for watching Making Melodies. I'm Melissa and my little Melody is not here with me today. She's at school right now. She started kindergarten this year. I know that she loves to do the haul videos with me. I was able to go to Trader Joe's earlier today. Some of their fall items are out and there's some new um, plant-based or vegan items that they have as well that I was able to snag this time. So yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys. I got some mini vegetable samosas. Um, just got one box. This goes really well with the vegan tikka masala that I have right here. So this is a quick meal that I can just pop in the microwave, pop in the air fryer. I got two of these super burritos. I love these. I always have these in all my Trader Joe's hauls. I just got two this week. It has quinoa, sweet potato, and kale seasoned with a Peruvian style aji amarillo sauce wrapped in a chili onion tortilla. So I like to put these in the air fryer to crisp them up. And again, this is a quick lunch, a quick dinner. They do have a bit of a kick. So if you are not able to eat spicy food, then this might not be for you. But if you like some spice, this is a good option. Then I got some of the Trader Joe's hash browns. These are my favorite store-bought hash browns. I've tried Aldi, I've had Walmart, I've had Target. Um, a bunch of different places but for some reason the Trader Joe's um, hash browns taste better to me so I got one of these then I got some of the Kung Pao tempura cauliflower I've heard some people say that they thought it was too soggy or the texture wasn't that good when they put it in the oven but if you put it in the air fryer and really crisp it up well and then put the sauce on it's delicious. This is a seasonal item. It's the non-dairy maple oat beverage. If this is good, I thought it would go well in some coffee or tea with the maple flavor. So I wanted to try this. This is also a newer item. It's the vegan meatless meat eater pizza, um, which is pretty exciting because I think this is the first vegan pizza that Trader Joe's um, has carried and I could be wrong. Maybe they had one in the past, but I haven't seen one I Grabbed one of these to try it out to see if it was any good. So my box got all crushed up. I am very intrigued and Interested in how this will taste. Next I got the vegan enchilada casserole and I just Now that I'm looking at it. I just realized that expiration date is coming up pretty soon So we'll probably have to try this out sometime this week, but I've never seen this. I'm pretty sure it's new. It's the vegan enchilada casserole. It has red chili sauce, seasoned pinto beans, and roasted vegetables layered between corn tortillas topped with mozzarella and cheddar style shreds. So I think it is completely vegan. It has a vegan cheese in it. It just contains coconut. Next, I got one box of the hold the dairy cones. Uh, 12 come in here. They're very small actually so it says the actual size so they're about that big i was very surprised at how small they were perfect size for melody uh i may or may not have had two or three in one city it's a nice treat to have after dinner got one can of the jumbo cinnamon rolls with vanilla icing i always keep some in the fridge for dessert i know a lot of people eat cinnamon rolls for breakfast, but we have them for dessert. This is a pretty cool new item that they have. It's the sweet cinnamon filled Korean pancakes. It says it's a chewy flaky dough with a lusciously gooey cinnamon filling. So we call this hotta and I, I've actually done like an Instagram reel on how to make these with a can of biscuits. And that's actually a lot cheaper and easier, but I, I wanted to try it. I wanted to see how it would taste. They're starting to have uh, a lot more Korean inspired items. So I think that's really cool to get people interested in eating Korean food. Next, I got two of these vegan tzatziki dips. I've tried their non-vegan one in the past and I just did not like it, but I really liked the vegan one. It's nice and creamy, it has it has chunks of dill and garlic and cucumber in it, and it goes perfect with um, like a pita or some naan with some portobello mushrooms. And then I got the garlic spread dip. This is also really delicious. I don't usually 
dip too many things in this because it is a little heavier in my opinion but i do like to take the burrito and dip it in some of this garlic dip and it just elevates the flavor Got one can of the organic coconut milk bag of limes and a bag of the purple sweet potatoes or the murasaki i don't know if i'm saying that right but i am assuming it's the japanese style sweet potatoes then i got two bags of the rigatoni melody's favorite noodle is rigatoni these days this is a really good quality uh pasta to me i know it's not super authentic although it says authentic on it um but compared to some of the other stores that we get our rigatoni this is the best quality in my opinion and it's a really great price i also got the trader joe's macaroni and these are pretty big and they have like ridges on them and melody likes these too um whenever i make chili i'll make the macaroni and we'll make a chili mac we're just a really big noodle family. Um, Jacob and Melody are obsessed with noodles. I got this Indian style garlic achar sauce. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering that name. I need to look it up and um, find out how to properly pronounce it. It says it's a spicy garlicky condiment with aromatic spices. Um, I heard a lot of great things about this sauce on the vegan Trader Joe's group that I'm in. We'll see how we like it. I'm thinking maybe put it over some vegetables with tofu or some mushrooms over some rice. So yeah, I hope that it is good. This is a newer seasoning. Um, it's the Green Goddess Seasoning Blend. I think it's newer. It's the first time I've seen it at ours, so I wanted to grab it. Um, yeah, I mean, they have so many different seasonings and I really don't necessarily know how to use them. But sometimes I'm like, oh, this might be good on whatever I'm making. So I grabbed one of these. Then I got the Italian tomato paste in the tube. This is just good to have on hand. I usually buy it in the can, but if I just want a little bit of tomato paste and I don't want to open a whole can, this is just so much easier. So I got one of these. And then, oh, back to the back to the noodles. The Fa Zucchetti Pasta. Again, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but they are made out of butternut squash and they had these last year and I only bought one bag of them, but I remember Melody really liking them. She thought that the shapes were cute. I do remember that they kind of fall apart when you're eating them or scooping them or stirring them, but they're just so cute. They're shaped like pumpkins and we like shaped pasta. So I grabbed two this year. So this will be really good with a, um, like a marinara pasta sauce or something like that. I got a bag of nutritional yeast. And then this is another seasonal item. It's the organic maple butter. It says spreadable creamy maple syrup. I don't know if, like how they make this. This is just like whipped. Just says organic maple syrup. That's the only ingredient in here. So I don't know what sorcery they perform to get it like butter. I wanted to try it out, see how it is. It just kind of goes with the fall vibes and it's really nice. I do like pumpkin spice, but I like maple better. I'm excited to try this out, maybe like on a waffle or some pancakes. Then I got two bags of these almond butter filled pretzel nuggets. Melody loves these. I put these in her lunch. We snack on them at home. They're great because Melody is allergic to peanut butter, but she's not allergic to almond butter. Then I got some of these maple leaf cookies. They're filled with a maple flavored cream filling. We've got these in the past and we really like them. They are very sweet, so I would say that one or two would do just fine. But I thought they would be really cute to put in Melody's lunchbox. I got these JoJo's, these Halloween JoJo's cookies. I thought they were so cute. They look like Oreos, but they have the vanilla bean cream in them. I'm pretty sure that the vanilla bean cream is orange. It's just the original JoJo flavor or like Oreo style flavor. Next, I got these pumpkin dog treats. 
Tux loves the Trader Joe's um, dog treat, so I got the original one with the assorted flavors, and then I got the pumpkin one. We ran out of dog treats uh, about a week ago, and so I feel really bad because I think he is like expecting one whenever I come home, because that's when I usually give it to him, and he's been kind of disappointed. So he'll be excited to have one of these treats, especially the pumpkin one. Okay, so these are the last two items that I grabbed. I got the pumpkin body butter. I remember hearing a lot of things about this body butter last year. By the time that I went, they didn't have it anymore. This is the first time I'll be trying the pumpkin body buddy bo <laughs> pumpkin body butter. This will be really nice to have during the holiday season. And then I got this vanilla pumpkin scented candle. It's made with soy wax, which is really great. And it says it's a lead free cotton wick. This is the first time I'm hearing about lead in wicks. So I guess it's good that this one doesn't have any in it. Um, I smelled it in the store. They had another flavor. I think it was Honeycrisp Apple. That smelled nice too, but for some reason I don't like uh, like artificial apple smells. I don't know why. So this is what it looks like. It smells pleasant. It's not overpowering. It's more vanilla than pumpkin, which I prefer. This will probably go really nice in the bathroom because it's not too big and chunky. And I can just light it whenever we have like guests or feel like being fancy. So yeah, that is the last item. Oh, I almost forgot. I got this little pumpkin for Melody. I usually let Melody pick out a pumpkin when we go together during the fall at Trader Joe's. Um, but I picked one for her, I thought it was so cute. Um, we don't really do anything with it, but you know, look at it, she plays with it. Maybe she'll decorate it this year. So cute. So that's it for my fall-ish Trader Joe's haul. I'll probably be going back um, before the end of the season to see if I can find any other things that I'm interested in getting. There are definitely so many other items um, that I didn't buy today, but I just tried to get things that I thought that we would enjoy. Go ahead and check out your local Trader Joe's if you're interested. They have so many other options for fall items. Um, I get sad when I look at some of the things and they have dairy or they have eggs or uh, look at some of the things that we can't have, but I'm very grateful that they have some options that we can enjoy as a family. Don't forget to like and subscribe, stop by the comments, say hi, let us know what some of your favorite Trader Joe's items are, or some things that you found that maybe I didn't talk about today. I hope you guys are doing great. Please, please stay safe and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hmm, I know a video. Get the subscribe to here. Subscribe to the ring. Bye.